Hey, I'm Nick and welcome to our LIC apartment. Here in the foyer, we have a ton of storage on the side and then the bathroom over to the side here. The New York City gem, which is washer and dryer and unit, which is uh, hard to beat. We have our bedroom slash studio. We kind of have these two wardrobe units for my fiance and myself. The rest of the space we keep very minimal. We have a Isamu Noguchi Akari uh, 70 EN. We have quite a few Noguchi sculptures throughout our space. This one over here uh, on top of this uh, kind of cool hide pedestal uh, from a brand called Hem. You can kind of rotate it to actually like hide the contents. Along with that, we have a lot of art in our apartment. We usually have like prints that will rotate uh, throughout our space, just kind of uh, leaning against the wall here, along with um, these two vintage exhibition posters above our bed on this display ledge, which is actually really convenient because we're able to just kind of grab a piece of art, take it off, switch it out with another piece that we have in our space. This one on the right here is actually from the late 60s, along with the Matisse to the left there uh, was from the 80s. It's a cool way to have um, art by famous artists but having it be fully authentic while supporting galleries. Bedding and everything, we just try and keep our like material palette very simple overall. We have like this fun um, pillow that's actually by Bodhi with their like senior cord program. You can submit a bunch of images and they'll actually have their illustrators um, draw on the pillow. So my fiance got this for me uh, two years ago for Valentine's Day, which is really sweet. So we have like a lot of like little things like some trip stuff and other things like that, but it's a fun little like memento slash like little piece that we have in our spot. We have my work from home space as well as my fiance's kind of home sewing setup. What I like most about kind of my desk setup is kind of keeping everything very minimal but extremely functional. So with it, it's like having a good office chair like the Herman Miller sale chair. Uh, this one I actually grabbed on Craigslist for like two, three hundred bucks uh, compared to like the thousand dollars that they retail for. A height adjustable desk, uh, which just kind of makes working from home bearable. And then a large monitor, a fun lamp uh, from a lighting design studio in San Francisco, uh, which kind of rotates uh, 360, which is awesome. On my fiance's end over here, she has her Juki industrial sewing machine. We have this really cool wall unit that everyone always asks us about. It's by Vitra, it's called the Uten Silo. And then over here, we have kind of these three ladder bookshelves from All Modern. They were around like 150 bucks each, and we kind of use it as a way to both store books as well as kind of show off kind of trinkets we've collected or been given over the years. One of our favorite plants that we have in our space is uh, this one here. It's a Hoya obovada splash. Ours has grown quite large over the past few years. So with it, we kind of have her just kind of climbing all throughout our bookshelf right now. My fiance actually works at um, Kith and one of the pieces that we have here is this kind of like proto like Jenga set, which is really fun. Uh, we've played it a few times, uh, but it mostly hangs out on our bookshelf. So we actually have this vintage table, which is really cool. It's a rosewood like gate leg table. So with that, um, this front portion as well as the other side um, can actually like fold down so we can kind of use it as a console table. It can fit up to six people. Right now we just have some tulips because it's season. Put them in like a really nice uh, vase from Marimekko. Uh, we have like a few of them throughout our space uh, just because we love a lot of the things that they do when it comes to like design language. The color pops come from like art and objects in our space. With our actual furniture itself, we try and keep everything quite minimal. We have a lot of chrome, leather, modernist Bauhaus design, like this chair, which is by Marcel Brewer. So this is like a B33 chair. It was originally designed in uh, 1928 or 29, somewhere around there. Um, and then a later uh, Mies van der Rohe chair, which we have a full set of that we actually picked up from a really cool vintage dealer who found them uh, at an estate sale from a famous architect's house. So we have like the original stickers on the bottom to the delivery address, which was like his, his first uh, residential project uh, for his parents, which is 
a really cool little like story there. One of the things that really drew us to our space are these massive windows that are like loft style that lets in so much natural light and really makes our living space so nice to be in. One of the things that's probably my favorite in our space is uh, this lamp. It's actually a Jean Prouvé potence lamp that was produced by Vitra. Um, so it cantilevers off the wall here so it can fully rotate. It's just such a fun piece for having lighting that's not uh, on the floor. I feel like whenever anyone comes in our space, they're like, hey, can I try and move it? Just because they're like, how does it even work? Jean Prouvé originally designed it in the 1950s. Vitra got the rights to it, so they're the current producer of it. This particular one, I actually picked up on Craigslist for about half price. I had to carry it on the 7 train from Sunnyside. So it was like I was walking through, holding it like a boom mic, trying not to be disruptive with it but it got here in one piece. We have this really cool Yoshitomo Nara ashtray that we actually picked up on eBay. It was produced in 2002. Just a really interesting limited piece. Even though neither of us smoke, we just kind of have it as a art piece on our coffee table all the time. We actually have this plant here in a vintage champagne ice bucket. It's a Salam philodendron. They can grow both in soil and water. We like moved it over to water culture because it wasn't doing great in soil. Also having it on our coffee table in glass and water makes it seem more airy, even though it is the biggest plant in our space. We also have these snow pea camping lounge cushions. Whenever you have friends over, regardless of how much seating you have in your space, everyone ends up just kind of like sitting on the floor around the coffee table chatting. And um, these are kind of like the perfect solution. They look great when they're out and I don't know, stupidly comfy. We have this bar that's kind of built into our island that's actually a table height, so we don't have to worry about having like bar stools or whatever. So we have more of like the Mies chairs over here. We both cook a lot, so our kitchen's very kind of like utilitarian. My sister's a chef, so I have stolen a lot of like ideas, whether it's like squirt bottles for oils and different things like that. My favorite area is definitely my like coffee setup over here. I have this Rocket Espresso Apartmento. I actually have custom blue side panels in just because I feel like it adds a fun pop of color to it. I got a lot more into coffee during COVID. Before that, I would always like frequent cafes and other things. But when we we're stuck at home, we we're like, okay, we want really good coffee, but we can't go out to get it. So then kind of ended up down this rabbit hole. I've had it at this point for about a year and a half or so. And even though it was $1,600, like just not from buying coffee out, at this point it's pays itself off since we have three or so coffee drinks a day between uh, myself and my partner. Thank you so much for coming by. You can find me at N-I-K-L-0-W on Instagram. And from there, you can find all my other socials.